So, we have again the breadboard with the two circuits simultaneously shown. This circuit has got a 10 k in the feedback and 10 k at the input R f by R i is equal to 1. So, this is a inverting amplifier with a gain of 1 and that circuit is shown here at the bottom in the breadboard and the input is connected from the signal generator which is again the sine wave oscillator. You have the amplitude variation here and you have the frequency variation here. You have got so frequency multipliers here and I have used the sine input here. So, this signal generator is connected to the input and the output is connected to an oscilloscope which you can see here and it is a dual trace oscilloscope. The top one is corresponding to the input and the bottom one is corresponding to the output. The two are connected here. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to vary the frequency of the input. I am going to vary the this knob the frequency of the output and I will ask you to observe the oscilloscope output carefully. You see the oscilloscope output can you see the oscilloscope output you see when I keep increasing you can see the frequency increasing, but the amplitude of the output is almost a constant. The amplitude of the output is constant both the input and the output is constant till I complete the entire range of frequencies using this knob. Now, what I am going to do is I have almost come to the end of this and the frequency also has increased. Now, I will go to the next multiplier. So, I will bring down to the original value and go to the next level of frequency which is now right now it is in 10, 10 k. Now, I go into 100 k. I press the 100 k. Now, let us see. You can see the two signals they are almost they are very close. So, now, now let me increase the sweep frequency. So, that again I am able to see few of the waves waveforms and now what I am going to do again increase in 100 kilohertz range my frequency my input frequency. So, we are we are still having now only it starts decreasing slowly when I am almost at 300 kilohertz and things like that. So, if if I now go to higher frequency like 1 megahertz you can see almost the output is decreased in amplitude. So, when this decrease starts is what we should worry about and we would be that will correspond to when it comes to, for example, this is what the minimum around 200 you would find is already less compared to the input less than what you had previously because the gain is 1 but they must have the same uh, amplitude in principle. But you can see the bottom signal is having lower amplitude than the top and so this happens when I press and go into the 1 megahertz several other hundreds of kilohertz away the, it starts decreasing and we can precisely calculate from the amplitude when it becomes 0 0.7 and you would find it will be very close to 1 megahertz because the gain bandwidth product for the 741 is very close to 10 power 6. So, this is corresponding to the gain of 1 in the uh, circuit that I have shown you can see this is the circuit that I have now used with a gain of 1. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to uh, connect the other amplifier now you can see you can see it is around the 10 kilohertz range it is around 5 kilohertz and in the oscilloscope you see the two amplitudes and if you actually come and look at this uh, dials you would find they will be 10 times this will be around 0.5 this will be around 5. So, you can see there is a gain of uh, 10 shown. The amplitude here is almost equal because the amplification factor using the knob has been kept 10 times that takes care of the gain of 10 because here in the feedback I have used 100 k and 100 k divided by 10 k gives me a factor of 10 that is a gain of this amplifier. Now, the same amplifier is shown here except that this resistance which was previously 10 k now I have changed to 100 k. Now, the two inputs are given as usual and let me now vary the frequency and see how the amplitude is changing. So, I am changing now in 10 kilo. 
see when I go through the entire range there is no significant change in the amplitudes of both. I will again change the sweep to see few waves and you are, I am are, going up to the extreme end of the knob you find there is not much of a change in the amplitude. Now I will quickly come back and increase the multiplier frequency multiplier. to 100 k range. Now, I am going to increase in the 100 k range. Now, you would find as soon as I do that the gain starts decreasing. Now, you can see that the gain here has started decreasing. Now, it is more I come back. Now, it is nearly 1 centimeter 1 division on the screen. Now, as I increase the frequency you find the amplitude starts decreasing. So, this corresponds to the cutoff very close to the cutoff and this comes in the 100 kilohertz range nearly about 200 kilohertz or so. Previously it was coming the when I used gain of 1 it was happening till 700, 800 uh, k you, you had no fall in the gain, but now you, you do get again much lower frequency and therefore the gain bandwidth product makes that when you increase the gain the bandwidth decreases. Now the bandwidth in this case has decreased. So, we can continue and try to do for a gain of 100. Then what will happen is you must make sure that amplitude of the output will be very, very large. Therefore, you should correspondingly reduce the input signal so that you can still have reasonable amplitudes of the two signals on the oscilloscope. I leave that for you to try on your own.